In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Eternal server lag. So the first thing you want to do is you want to load into Eternal, so then you want to go to the left menu and select over here where it says options. You may see some advertisements, so go ahead and just close out of them. Once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll down and then you should see this section that does say time zone. And essentially, you need to go ahead and select the time zone that is closest to you. So for me, the closest time zone is America slash New York. So I'm going to go ahead and select on that. But basically, you want to select any one of these regions and find the region that is closest to you. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the left menu one more time and this time you want to go ahead and select on software which we can go ahead and select from here and we need to go ahead and install paper slash bucket and this is basically going to optimize our server so make sure you select on paper slash bucket right over here then go ahead and select on the minecraft version of your eternal server so if it's the latest version 1.21.5 you want to go ahead and select on that then from here you guys can go ahead and install paper mc which will actually go ahead and optimize your eternal server even though Eternos is a great option for hosting servers, the truth is there are way better options out there. And if you're tired of the constant lag on Eternos servers, then consider using our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and quality servers where you're able to upload mods and mod packs with the click of a single button. From mods like Cobblemon, RLCraft, and even Pixelmon, you can upload them to your server. And in fact, Simple Game Hosting specializes in creating modded servers. They also have really high-end servers, so you don't need to worry about lag or anything like that. And there's also dozens of video guides showing you how to do everything. So if this is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment. All right, boys, but that's enough yapping out of me. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to the left menu, and this time, you want to go ahead and select on Plugins. Once we're here in plugins, you want to go to the search bar and just look up clear lag, then go ahead and just enter it in. And there you go. You want to go ahead and install this one that does say clear lag. And this is basically going to optimize your game significantly and make it run faster. There's many other plugins that you guys could also include in order to optimize your game. We also have this plugin called Fast Chunk, so you want to go ahead and look for that, then go ahead and select over here. And this one's really good, by the way. It is actually relatively uh, recent as well, so you guys can go ahead and use that as well. Another thing you want to do is you want to go to the left menu, and this time you want to select on Files. Once you're over here in Files, all you want to do is you want to scroll down, then go ahead and select on Server Properties. Now just wait for it to load in. And now what we need to do is we need to make a few adjustments. So for starters, where it says view distance, you want to go ahead and reduce that to the bare minimum. So in this instance, it is three. And also what you want to do is you want to go ahead and where it says slots, turn that down and only put it to like the minimum amount. So yeah, go ahead and put into how many players are actually playing. So if it's only like you and like three other people, then you just want to go ahead and turn it down. But yeah, those are definitely some commands that you guys could change in order to optimize your server. And in general, you just want to have good and consistent Wi-Fi because because none of these tips will work if your Wi-Fi is a little bit faulty. So me personally, I recommend using a wired connection such as an Ethernet cable where you connect one end of it to your PC and the under end of it to your router. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.